Let's talk about Event Dispatcher. The Event Dispatcher component provides a way for your application components to communicate with each other by dispatching events and listening to them. A good example to think about it, how this works, is Symfony Framework. For example, when Symfony is handling your request, it's dispatching multiple events. So we can expect at least one event being dispatched uh, related to your request with also access to the request object where we can read some information from that request, for example, headers. We can also expect an event related to response created by Symfony. That means we can hook into that event and we can modify the response object in any way we want. And as a final example, we can also conditionally listen for exception event and only do some logic when application throws an exception. There is a whole list of what events are dispatched by Symfony. So if you want to know more about that, please check the documentation. However, for this video, what I want to focus on is how to how we can create events using event dispatcher component, how we can attach information related to our events, and how we can listen or subscribe to those events. I also want to show what's the difference between listening and subscribing uh, to the events. So let's create a little demonstration in order to understand everything better. I hope you find this video very useful. Let's begin. I've already installed Symfony Event Dispatcher and Symfony HTTP Foundation components. My first task is to create an event dispatcher and I want to dispatch my first event called simply my event. When I run this command uh, code, nothing will be shown because there's nothing listening to my event. I am creating my first listener, which is going to be called example listener. I'm adding a simple message output inside there, just as an example. Then I'm adding that listener to my event dispatcher and telling it and telling it on what event name it should run on. As you can see, when I run this code, we simply see a message included from my listener which means the listener has run successfully. Then if I change the name of the event dispatched and we run the code again, nothing will be shown because my listener is no longer, no longer interested in new event name. Let's quickly summarize. We've initialized an event dispatcher. We've created and registered one listener which only executes when we dispatch event called my event. If we dispatch any other event with a different name, our listener will not execute. I'm going to change the name of my event to be called app request. The intention for my event is to contain access to the request object. The first step is to create a request event which simply extends normal event and I'm only adding a constructor which takes a request as argument. Now, when we dispatched an event, we are dispatching request event and pass request object into it. That way, we are able to access request object within our listener and read some information from it. For example, I'm going to extract header value and output it to the screen. When we execute our application with additional header called testing, we see some additional output as well. At the same time, we if we don't specify that header, <coughs> we'll not see that value. Now I want to add another event, which is going to be called app response. I want to add response object into our response event so that we can access it later from within our listener. Similar to the previous situation, but this time I want to modify our response content rather than reading information from our request. As you can see, when I run this code, it shows change response content by our listener. 
And finally, I want to use a subscriber in our example because both functionality ways are very similar. The only difference is that we move the event name into our subscriber class and we don't need to specify that name when we register with our event dispatcher. Subscribers are generally easier to use because the knowledge of the events is kept in the class rather than somewhere else in our, in our code. However, it will depend on how your application is designed and used. With this little demo, I hope you can now understand better the, the role that Event Dispatcher plays in various applications. It's a very powerful tool, follows some good design patterns, and I'm sure you'll be aware of it next time you design your new project. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.